Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zonta of Repro Products. This screencast will showcase the contextual placement tools panel within the ribbon of Autodesk Revit 2017 in regards to duct systems, pipe systems, and cable tray systems. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zon Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017. In the Systems tab of the ribbon, there are commands for the duct, pipe, and cable tray. When we work with these commands, and I'm in the 3D view, you'll notice that there is a Placement Tools contextual panel, and there are some commands in here to work with. For example, I started the duct command, and I can start drawing ductwork. If I start with the pipe command, that placement tool panel also comes up. And if I use the cable tray command, the contextual placement tools also come up. So now the question really becomes, how do I use those tools? Let's go ahead and delete this. We'll start with a duct command. When you start with the duct command in the placement tools, there are several features. One is justification, automatically connect, inherent elevation, and inherent size. You also have the options toolbar for specifying the descriptive information about what you're about to place. For example, I'm going to go ahead and put in a ductwork that's say 24 inches wide by 36 inches high at 9 feet. And I'll zoom out a little bit and then I'll place it. And as I'm drawing it, it just draws it without a problem. Now, when I use the duct command and I change a size, like so, if we choose to say automatically connect, it will automatically connect to this particular uh, ductwork that I'm touching. Now, the offset height right now is at 9 feet, which is the same, so it should connect without a problem, like so. If I use the same command, same settings, but I change my offset height to something else, say 5 feet, and I leave automatic connect turned on. As I select the existing ductwork to connect into, that automatic connect feature will still let it connect, but it will also make the adjustment for the necessary fittings uh, necessary to make it connect. If I uncheck automatically connect, and I try to connect to this, piece of ductwork and I draw it, it's going to draw it, but it's not going to connect it, as you can see here. So that's what the automatic connect feature is for. Let's go ahead and erase this again and draw some ductwork. Also, by the way, when you're drawing ductwork, piping, or cable tray, and you're trying to place it like I'm doing so here, and there's a circle diagonal across an uh, image next to your cursor, what that means is that you're trying to draw it at such an angle where the, the default fittings that have been set up for that system uh, won't work. So as you can see, it won't let me do it. Uh, however, if I'm drawing it and I don't get the circle on the diagonal, I can draw that object. Uh, and if you need to fix that situation, head over to the Manage tab of the ribbon and go into your MEP settings and make sure things are set up properly in here as well as checking under Edit tab, under Routing Preferences, that everything is defined in this window. Let's get back to Systems, go back to the Duct command, change it to a different size, and change to a different height. Let's say 7 feet. Now, Inherent Elevation basically means that if I were to touch this object and draw out, it's going to look at this elevation and hold this object's elevation, not the elevation that's in the options toolbar. So as it stands right now, inherent elevation is not turned on. I'm going to use automatic connect and click and drag. And it places the object and it connects to it. And it holds this height position, which is at 7 feet. And this position by default is at 5. If I use the command again and I say inherent elevation, and I pick that ductwork, and I draw it, what ends up happening is this is still holding at the original 5, and this is now at the 5. So it is disregarding, if you will, this offset height value 
as you start when automatic inherent elevation is set. In the same vein, inherent size functions the same way. Right now, this existing ductwork is set at 12 inches wide, 52 inches high. If I create another ductwork that is a different size, let's do something crazy like 58 by 12. And I don't have an inherent size turned on. And I connect it to this ductwork here. It builds it. And if it's telling me uh, some errors, you have to fix it. So let's try and draw it this way. Uh, and if that's not working, then it typically means the sizing is too great. So let's draw it over here. And it draws it. Now, the inherent size feature that you see here basically says, whatever this size is, use this size that you're connecting to. This one is 12 by 52. And this is 40 by 12. So if I go back to the duck command and I say 40 by 12 and I turn on inherent elevation, and I draw, then this original size, which is 12 by 52, should have transferred to this object, 12 by 52. And there you go. So those are the contextual placement tools commands within Revit. These apply to uh, ductwork, cable tray, conduit, and fitting. And then lastly, I forgot to mention the justification feature allows you to specify how the objects are going to be justified and the default is centered, but you can say center left or right and any horizontal offset if you need to, as well as the vertical adjustment being middle, bottom, or top. Thank you very much for watching.